my doggy coming and visiting me. <laughs> He's half Australian Shepherd and half Jack Russell Terrier. And he just loves to go on a car ride. So I can't really um, even mention the word sometimes because he'll get so excited. Even spelling it, sometimes it will be <laughs> quite dramatic here in the house because be, he'll be jumping all over the place. One of the things that, that I wanted to talk to, to you about today is Paris. Paris is one of the places that I dream of going one day. Right now though, a lot of things is not really coming perfectly in my life, so I have to wait for that. But sometime in the future, I'm looking forward to going over there. So the reason why I wanted to talk about Paris is because this is my Paris room. And I wanted to make a room where I could come and enjoy a little bit of the Paris lifestyle in my own little retreat. I think everyone should have their own room, their own special little corner in the house where it, it, it belongs to them, where they can just have a, a great time and, and just relax and enjoy a nice book to read and even some music. Um, I'll be showing you some of the areas of my Paris room. It's a very tiny room, but it's full of potential. <laughs> Hi there, so I'm going to give you a tour of my Paris room and I hope that you like it. It is my retreat. Alright. Are we recording? Oh, I guess so. Okay. <laughs> well, anyhow, um, this is a mirror. Right? Okay. That's my outfit. All right, and over here we walk to um, my dresser. Um, here are some old vintage shoes from the Edwardian times, um, which are totally my size, but I'm not gonna attempt to put them on. Because as you can see, they are very old. Um, the gal that wore them, she wore them to death, definitely. <laughs> and also they are old because um, they're probably over 90 or so years old. And um, here I also have a um, the Queen Victorian kind of like... Um, biography which I'm gonna be reading very soon um, I read a little bit actually at the beginning of the introduction of the of the book and I just wanted to get familiarized a little bit with that era um, because as you know it um, I've been writing a novel by Victoria Lee Jones in the Valedictorian Secret Society and, um, and I also am very fascinated with that Victorian era um, this woman was very fascinating because um, she, her name was part of an era and the fashion and everything and houses kind of like um, came from, from, from that era of the Victorian era. Okay, and over here is an old record of The Sound of Music which my brother gave me. A couple of years ago, and I totally love singing with Julie Andrews. Um, very talented um, singer, and totally love to practice my singing, <laughs> um, which I still have to really practice more. But you're gonna be seeing me, hearing me singing, and I hope it won't bother your ears. <laughs> but I totally love it. I'm totally, I totally love singing. And over here to the right side is actually um, my um, record player, which um, is where I put my, my old records and I listen to them. It's a turner there. And um, over here, what I love is these modern um, ones 
kind of like has also where you can listen to um, the radio and a CD, which is great. And over here on this side is where you put the CD. And I have um, my CDs also, our classic CDs. And here's my favorite radio station here in town. Totally nice because I get really um, relaxed in my Paris room. And over here is my old mirror, which you guys are familiar with in my art deco. And back there is my messy closet. <laughs> Oh, and over here are my pictures from Paris. Very beautiful, very cool. All right. Um, this is a outfit that I put on my mannequin a couple of weeks ago is a new outfit is a vintage I'm not sure exactly what year um, but I, I I found it at the thrift store it's kind of like um looks like 1970s or something because it's, it's a little short and it's one of my hats my newest hats it's like uh I wanted to get something that it was um, kind of like a pill hat that um, Jackie Kennedy wore kind of thing. I was looking for something like that, but I got this one. It had a little, it has a netting too. And there's the, the name of the maker. Very beautiful hat. Sometimes a little difficult to figure out what kind of outfit to wear with that kind of hat. One of these days, I might have to get something that will complement the hat and the outfit. And this is my um, chair, which is couch sofa. Oops. And I just have to make the pillows a little bit. My sister made these, this pillow here. She's actually an interior decorator, and she made these very pretty pillows, which complements my room over here. Little rooster. This is another pillow here, which I love also. Very cute. Oops, put my finger sometimes. Sorry about that. And over here we have our is my closet. My hats are on top of there, the closet. And some of my clothes are there. Trying to put the winter clothes away, um, so that way I could have more, more um, space for my closet. It's getting a little fat, my closet. I also kind of like have some of my vintage things inside there, where are from like the 60s and 70s, where I don't really wear. But one of these these days, I'll be selling them. Oh, I found this nice little sweater um, recently. Totally, totally cute. Um, I love this color. I always have, like, love the furry thingy around my neck because it gets cold over here in Florida. Up north or in the central part of Florida, it does get cold. And we had a really severe winter um, this time around as well as many parts of the United States. So I love to always have a furry... Um, shawl around my neck which is like the area where it always gets cold, cold 
too cold. If it gets too cold, I get I try to get take um to protect myself from colds and stuff. And let me see who's there. Oh, but that's Chewy. Oh, is it my dog? <laughs> Hi, Chewy. Hi, baby. Are you shy? Oh, he's a sleepy doggy. Okay, let him sleep now. Go night night now. <laughs> All right, it's a little messy in my room. I really have to organize after I came back from our trip. We haven't really done a whole lot. So, all righty.